All right, everybody, I'm gonna summon my inner MatPat and I'm gonna give my theory about the upcoming Shane Dawson Beautiful World of Jeffree Star series. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so it's been a crazy weekend. It's been a crazy weekend, huh? I think I uploaded what, how many, six? seven videos yesterday like that is a that is a new record all right and yeah um i i shared just some of my thoughts and opinions on the community and it's something that i want to do i want to start talking about things that i don't notice other channels talking about my goal is to have people just kind of critically think all right expand our minds just a little bit and I want to talk about this Shane Dawson uh, Jeffree Star series. I was actually just talking, I was actually just talking with Kadri Milk, and I think I'm saying her name right. But anyways, she is a phenomenal artist. She's done some artwork for me before, and she's gonna help me out with some thumbnails for this upcoming series. So make sure that you go follow her over on Twitter and Instagram. I'm gonna link her down below. All right. But anyways, her and I were talking about it, and uh, and yeah, I was like, oh, I have I have some predictions. But uh, let's see. So what I want to do is. See, I fancy myself a good judge of character. Like some people like, you know, uh, uh, you know, can predict, you know, the future. But I just think like if you start watching people and monitoring their behaviors, knowing about their past, like history often repeats itself, right? We learn from the past and we see like, have, have people grown, have people changed and all that kind of stuff. So this I think is a, a, a good skill for people to have, like how many times do we run back to old friends or old significant others, right? Because there's that old saying like, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, right? And this is something that I had to learn a long time ago the hard way. And I had to get to a point where I'm like, really, can I really blame anybody else? I kind of put myself in this situation. All right, so there has been a lot of debate around, you know, the Shane Dawson series with Jeffree Star. Like, is Jeffree Star like deserving of another series from Shane Dawson? Because Jeffree Star is quite controversial. But a lot of people are really interested because we know that they're going to be talking about the James Charles situation and everything that happened. So again, I just wanna be on the record with my prediction and check this out. If I'm wrong, which I might be, but if I'm wrong, even MatPat is wrong sometimes, you can come back to this video, this exact same video and say, Chris, you're an idiot. And I promise you, I will not get mad. All right, these are my predictions. And if I'm wrong, I will cor correct them in the future. Okay, but based on what we've seen, what we know about Jeffree Star, what we know about Shane Dawson, here's my predictions. I do not think that Jeffree Star would allow, I don't even want to use the word allow Shane because Shane is a grown adult. <laughs> But I obviously there is going to be some bias there, all right? That's, that's my opinion, okay? And I'm gonna talk about how I hope Shane just makes me look like an idiot too. But there's no way, I don't, I don't believe that there's any way that we're gonna see all of the anger that Jeffree Star had during that James Charles, Tati Westberg drama. Like there, I, I cannot imagine that being presented to the world. Like we saw, we saw what Jeffree Star was saying during that time. He was accusing James Charles of being a predator. He was calling him a danger to society. Like we saw that via tweets, right? We saw that via the text messages he was sending James Charles. Now, I want you to picture anybody you've been around while they're sending those texts, right? Have you ever sent messages like that, just freaking out? Like, Shane Dawson must have been near him and been able to catch that on camera, but I don't think that'll be in the video or any of the videos. Some people are saying it's gonna be like nine, nine episodes, which will be interesting. Uh, how many was the, the Mind of Jake Paul? Was it eight or something? I don't know. But I don't believe that they will show all of that. See, one of the issues that 
there is, like if there is some bias in there, because Shane and Jeffrey are obviously friends, there will be a lot edited out. See, Jeffrey came back and he said, you know, I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm not gonna release these things. Like I said, I was going to and all that kind of stuff. So here's here's my theory too, because now, now we know that Shane was with Jeffrey around that time. Shane seems like the type of person, the type of friend, that'll calm you down and say, don't do anything stupid. Like we all need, we all need somebody like Shane in our lives. Like Shane is very empathetic, you know, and he feels bad for people, even people who do controversial things, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't be surprised if, if there was something in the series where Shane was calming Jeffrey down and advising him not to release that. So I think that we might see that, but I don't think we're gonna see all the craziness and chaos. Now, to kind of wrap this thing up, I might be 1000% wrong. See, during the Shane Dawson series with Jake Paul, and I talked about this before, a lot of people were worried that Jake Paul was gonna have Shane cut a bunch of stuff out. They, they thought that they were gonna, you know, he was gonna have to make Jake Paul look like this amazing person, everything like that. And I made a video at the end of that series, like saying like, we all owe Shane Dawson an apology because Shane came at Jake Paul with some hard hitting questions. I think it was even in the finale when he, when he came at Jake Paul and talked about, you know, um, the, the issues that Nerd City brought up about marketing to children and everything like that. And that's my hope for Shane in this series. I hope, and, and Shane is, that dude's a genius. Like watching the way he creates, like, and, and like, since I'm always like kind of just analyzing people and trying to figure out their thought process and everything like that, like it seems like Shane knows what we're gonna expect and is able to do the opposite. So like I said, I hope he proves me wrong and anybody else who might be agreeing with me. But like I said, I would not be surprised if, if the, the saga between James Charles in that series is kind of trimmed down and cut out to make Jeffree Star look a certain way. But again, I hope I'm wrong. And if it is proven that I'm wrong, remember I gave you, I gave you permission. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever read my comment section. I don't need to give anybody permission to call me an idiot. But anyways, feel free to come back to this video and call me an idiot in the comments. I promise I won't get bad. This is my prediction, but let me know down in the comment section do you think they will show the behind the scenes of everything Jeffree Star was saying and talking about during that time? Actually, I do wanna bring up one other thing because I, I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Because I've been talking a lot about morality lately. Do you think this is wrong of them to include in this series? All right, like James Charles went through a lot. He even talked about being suicidal when he did that video with Joey Graceffa. Do you think it is wrong for them to include that in the series, all right? So let me know if you think it's wrong or if you think it's right, let me know why, all right? I wanna start having uh, conversations around morality. So let me know if you think it's right or wrong and then let me know why. Also, let me know this, because Shane Dawson is always throwing those curveballs, baby. Do you think that we're gonna be surprised and find out that James Charles was actually involved in this series, all right? Because how many of us thought that Shane Dawson was going to interview Alyssa Violet or Nick Crompton, you know, in the Jake Paul series? So we know that Shane knows James. So I think that would be awesome if if there was some something in this series where, you know, Shane talked with James, because Shane is friends with all these people. Like in their original Jeffree Star series, like they were all hanging out with each other. And when I watch the beauty community drama going down, I think about all of the people caught in the crossfire, all of the people who are friends with both sides and things like that, because you and I have been in those situations. And that's why I say we gotta learn from what we're viewing, right? We've been in situations where we're torn between two friends, right? Or maybe it's like a boyfriend and girlfriend and our friends, or maybe our significant other and our, our family or something like that. So, you know, like when I was watching all this go down and people were like, 
including Shane Dawson in this, you know, I felt super bad for the dude. So I hope we get to see some kind of resolution or a conversation happening with James Charles in this series. And I wouldn't be surprised if it happened because Shane, Shane comes with the surprises. All right, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on all this stuff. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon and everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my books and merch and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.